Let's go see our girl Chan. Hopefully we get some more information. Oh, you! You're not Chan at all. You look... like a vampire... from Asian mythology and lore. All right, welcome back to... another episode of Boot here today. Last time around, we made a fairly shocking discovery. Turns out, the guy who handles the call girl business to some degree, he also happens to be the guy that we handed Katya over to. So I'm starting to think right now there's um, two situations here. Number one, he's probably running two businesses, smuggling illegal women into the country and call girls, or it's just one business, smuggling illegal women into the country to work for the call girl service. So, we do have enough money to get the call girl again. We are going to be doing that here soon because I want to see if it kind of gives us some follow-up on Katya. If it does not, well, at the very least, we get to see more of A, I suppose. I mean, she did kind of sweet talk her boy last time around. It's like, oh, you were the cutest thing of all time sleeping, Ned. Please call me again and spend your money on me. And you know, Ned, Ned seems to be the type of guy who would fall for a ruse like that is all I'm going to say. All right. So, the other thing we did do as well was we, um, we hollered at our girl from our childhood. Elodie, I believe her name is. We're going to do that again. 636-8866. We're going to do that because, um, we also ended up giving her our map. Now, was it a good idea or not? I have no idea. But Ned made it very clear to me a couple of times now. Last time being the second time, I believe. It's probably very bad to have that map on us, and if we, by any chance, get, you know, searched into and somebody finds the map, we might be in trouble. So we gave it off to Lottie to, hopefully, uh, <laughs> get rid of it. If she holds on to it for herself, for some sort of nefarious means, well, oh well. Now, could she also turn around and give it to somebody else and be like, I got this from Ned? Sure. Let's hope that's not the case, though, huh? Let's go to work. Good evening! A batch of qualified drinks needs to pass quickly today. Keep an eye on any undocumented products. What does that mean? Oh, oh, we're doing the thing again where I'm supposed to look for those small little differences? Oh, we're going really fast, huh? Okay, that looks good, that looks good. That looks good. Sure, everything is fine. Good. I'm holding my thumbs out for some reason. As if I'm personally a pro. Oh, you're, you're bad. You're a bad boy. Um, how do I... What do I do this again? Like, do I... I pick and report, right? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Just throw it away. Good, 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 good. Yeah, it seems we're coming to the end of our day here, so you know what? I'm gonna take this fake item. Just to see what happens. That's all for today. Free to leave? Okay. Should have been a perfect. I also grab one of these fake items just to see what they're all about. Nice, we got over 200, which is very good because if we do the call girl thing... I'm not sure when I should do it. I want to get a little bit of cash. I want to get up to like 1500 first and then we'll do it. So we have a little bit of extra cash left over. Um, that should be Elodie. Let's see what, um... What we got here with her. You did get rid of that map, right? You're not gonna hustle me, alright? Don't you dare turn around and bamboozle the boy. Hi, Ned. Morning. Are you feeling better today? Yeah, I guess. Hey, um... Something interesting I want to ask you. Since I know what you do now. Something interesting? Well... Remember that thing that drove us boys crazy back in school? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little too well. Ah, that. You mean the thing behind? Oh. A spinner. I guess maybe it's propelled up by, like, you know, spinners on the bottom. That's how it floats. Sometime before high school, my parents asked me to practice ahead. Isn't it difficult at that age? Well, it's not that difficult, like how people imagine. But it did it take some time for me to get rid of my fear of heights. I wish I had a chance to try it. I'm sure you will someday. I don't know. 
The specters don't seem too mobile. Ned, don't make it even harder for me to ride that spinner emotionally. Okay, okay. I'll try to keep my eyes off. All right. Well, is there anything that we want to show her now? That she has apparently taken our map here as well. Um, not really. People started telling me, I've been telling me the comments to show, like, foods associated with other restaurants. Two girls? Uh, I guess we could do that. Um, for you it would be... Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess these are from the same place. This is what you eat up here? Oh, I'm fine. Don't eat it. <laughs> were you so... Were you so, uh... Offended by it? Like, this is what you eat? Really? Really? What's wrong with it? What about the pork bun set? Nah, it's the same thing. Alright, there you go. People asked me to do it, I did it. Nothing apparently comes out of it, so... Hello, phone. What is that? Oh, we're gonna do this again. Oh, it's me! Hello? Hi. Who's calling? Morty. Okay. I don't recall a Morty. I'm calling on behalf of Watai in our insurance. Insurance? We now have a special offer tailored just for new inspectors like you. Wait. It'll cover all the medical expenses during your stay with a solid life insurance. First year's only 999 and you'll get a 9% discount for all the years to come. Sorry, don't have the money for it right now. As a matter of fact, I do, but... Well, you don't have to decide right away, sir. We'll have a pamphlet sent to you in a few days. This offer will be valid as long as you apply with that pamphlet. Yeah, I already got your pamphlet. Oops, a little timing mistake there. But all is good, sir, all is good. We'll be waiting for your reply wholeheartedly. Goodbye. One of the commonest energy drinks in Iden. Tastes almost like beer. This one has a slight- it's, it tastes almost like beer and it has a, it's a energy drink. So it's like, uh... Damn, I forgot what they're called. Spark? I'm not sure how widely common sparks are, but I remember sparks from back in the day. I'm just saying, you could kind of walk around and get your drink on and people weren't really aware because it actually did look like an energy drink can that you were walking around with. That's all I'm gonna say, you know? You boys had a rough life. It's kind of a fun life, but you know, still. I'm gonna let my brain take a break. At least for one day. Hmm. No inner thoughts today, huh? Alright, clues. What do we got? Spinner. Lodi knows how to ride a spinner and said it's not that hard. But it still took her some practice. Amazing clue. <laughs> Very profound. Doorbell. Early. Um... Nasty Nasty? Yes. Good evening. I brought what you ordered last time. Thank you. I already forgot what it was. What do you want to order today? No small talk? No how you doing? How's the weather? <laughs> Fine. It's not how you get people to buy stuff, you know? You gotta show a little bit of showmanship here, you know? Um, no, I don't want to show anything, actually. Catalog. What do you got? A Game Boy?! 3,000? That's way too expensive for me, though. Visible Cities. A travel guide. Hmm. I mean, I'm trying to save up for the call girl thing, but this seems kind of intriguing. We might get some good use out of this. It might give us some information about Aiden itself. I'm gonna buy this. Just for the possibility of information. Uh, yes, I'll also buy this, because at some point you gotta strike it big, right? I can't lose every single time. It's, it's ridiculous at this point. I gotta win something. It's called a gambler's addiction falcon. I know, I'm just saying though, but... I, I've already invested this much. I gotta throw the entire house and my entire family's life savings at it until I finally win. Alright, let's get to work. I ordered some Chinese so we get more of um, Chan's thing. I know she's very tight-lipped. But when she does show up, somehow her attitude, her personality just draws me. Good evening. Nothing special today. You know the task. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. All right, so nothing out of the norm here today, as they said, nothing special. No special black bottles, nothing out of the normal, so... A very, very common day. And another perfect for us as well. More money, 
more problems or hopefully more money, less problems with this thing here. Success. Let's go see a girl Chan. Hopefully we get some more information. Ooh, you! You're not Chan at all! You look... like a vampire? From Asian mythology and lore. Hello. Mr. Ned Crawford. Uh, hello? I'm not sure we've met. My name is FC130. I'm here to deliver. Why don't you have a regular name? Are you a robot? What happened to Chan? I was right. Wait, you're a robot. I do not like that name. Uh, sorry, it's just I've never talked to a robot. He just told he doesn't like to be called a robot. I do not like that name. Uh, sorry, I I'm just... Wait, where is Chan? She is unable to be here today. Okay. So the restaurants are using this sort of high tech now? Now, Mr. Crawford, here is your takeout. Uh, thanks. And lastly, a gift. A gift? I think government sends its regards. Excuse me? That's wrong, right? That should be the robot telling me this? Why the hell would Ned tell the robot I didn't government sense his regards, or am I s why that's a weird thing to tell the robot. Right? That had to be him telling me that? That's gotta be it. Suica candy. One of the commonest snacks in item. Can be chewed for a day. No one knows what Suica means. Well, we're gonna start asking people about this Suica then, aren't we? Just noticed it yesterday. The star seen from here felt so close and bright. I wonder is anyone living on them. Maybe they're just wondering the same thing. Hmm. All right. Come on, big money. Oh boy, I won five. But I was down five, so I think I I I once again have broken even. Good. All right. Clues. Anything about this robot? No, there, there it is. FC one thirty. A robot sent by the government. Yeah, you see, it, it was it, so that Ned line had to have come from the robot. The ro a robot sent by the government who helps deliver food to my food. What if the girls are now gone and suddenly start using this robot? All right, let's go to work. Order just the regular pork bun set again. I don't want to spend too much. I want to get up to fifteen hundred so we can do the call girl again. Good evening. Here they come again. Your favorite mushrooms. You should be familiar enough with them by now. Good luck. Uh, there's four of them now, too. And we also have to purify them, of course. Okay, we are approaching the end of today as well, and... Very, very common day again. Nothing too out of the norm. 237. That needs to be purified. 252. Too small. Too small. Purify this. Get this out. Ooh, we might have to focus. Now we're good. Take it. Okay. Yeah, nothing out of the norm again, so... We'll skip the majority of this workday as well. It's two days in a row, but nothing really too crazy. It, it felt a little bit overwhelming because you have like four hour items to check out. And it throws you off a little teeny tiny bit because they're all identicals, but you have to go by the color. So then you start getting the numbers mixed up a little bit, but it's all good. When you have a big juicy brain like me, it's no problems. 132. Nice. Okay. Now let us see that um, hopefully Chan is back and not this Roboto man. She's back. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Fuquan fast food. Hey, uh, morning. <laughs> yeah, me again. Yeah, I know. Um, Chan. The last time I ordered Fuquan, a robot called FC-130 showed up. Do you know that? Oh, you don't know? It's just a random check by the government. Excuse me? Yeah, a random check. It happens every now and then. To see if we secretly carry out contraband. I see. 
But when the check's done, why do they have to send another person? I mean, another robot to deliver. Don't ask me, just following orders. Okay, there's nothing else. Oh, uh, wait. What? Questions again? I actually... Still want to know more about Wei. I know you've never been there, but you must have heard about it from your family, right? Not interested, never asked, never heard. What game are you playing now? Well, like you said, Wei is such a plain name. So I'd like to know something more specific. Ugh, what are you, a freak? Maybe. If it's not too much trouble, could you just ask for me, please? Maybe. Maybe it's enough. Th thank you. Don't thank me too early. They might know zero by the way, just as I do. <laughs> what a ball of sunshine. Boy. So, the robots are for the possibility of smuggling contraband, huh? Interesting. Would the map that we gave Elodi be considered smuggling contraband? I don't know. Well, let's see um, about that robot. Or, not that robot. <laughs> we know enough about the one, we don't know enough about him. But we, we, we've dealt with him, don't want to deal with him too much more. Let's see about this candy. I mean, I already gave it, I just want to show it right now. What's up with that food? Me? No thanks, not hungry. Oh, I was just offering? Okay. Alright, so what if I was to show Chan the, bo the black bottle? I don't have to get it, I just gotta show it. I mean, I don't think she's gonna rat me out. What's this? Have a look. Any idea what it is, or what's inside it? Never seen such a thing. A friendly reminder, though. You should report this to your supervisor. Sure, thanks. Is that the game warning me that I really should show that to Nasty Nastya? Oh, man. I mean, I'm kind of glad that I showed it because now it gave me the idea of it's a possibility it could be a problem. But I mean, if we give it to the rebels before they look in on me, I guess it wouldn't be a problem then, you know? Why you gotta put this idea in... This idea in my head for? Chan, now I'm really worried about this bottle and showing it to Nasty Nastya. Hello? Here is Jack from Royo Zuya. Oh, uh, how's things been going since then? We are about to send our men there. Guess we'll find out. There's a new restriction on visitors apart from the ID, so we have to apply again. Yeah, I've heard. Okay, so we're preparing for both cases, passing or failing the application. Either way, we'll let you know. Also, your ID card will be sent back to you as soon as we can confirm it's not needed anymore. Got it. Again, we'll make sure the job is done no matter what. Yoro Zuya Jack, signing out. That is true. We haven't... Uh, I did kind of forget that my ID is um, floating out and about out there. Huh? I've been adopting a strategy of talking with as many people as I can. Trying to get the most out of being here. At least for now. It's the only effort I can make. Except for not failing in my job. Well, you know what? We're at 1471. It's close enough with the call girl, right? For the 1500? Let's do the call girl. Why not? So, I do need to remember. Oh, I, it was like 616169 or something. It was something that I should remember. But for some reason, I do not. 1616969. How can you forget, Falcon? I know, I know. Call girl here. What well, can I help you? Alright. I mean, is this a good idea? What about the, the health service thing that we talked about? It doesn't seem like Ned wants anything to do with that insurance, though, does he? I'm gonna regret if I need money at some point. Um, I'll take one course. Thank you, sir. I love customers who jump right in. Address, please. Skyline Boot 105. Noted. We'll drop by on the next business day. Okay, I also ordered food again from Fukuang. Just so that... Maybe we find... Maybe Chan asked about the way thing to her parents and get some more info. Good evening. We got some pigs to stamp again. 
Nothing has changed about the rules. Follow what you did last time. Okay, so the only big thing I'm noticing right now... Uh, it's, um, it's very, very slow. I mean, it's very slow. Yeah, I wish it was slow. It was actually really, really fast. So, like, you gotta switch on the fly really quickly. Like that. Okay, that's that's got black dots too, green in. Black dots, black dots, black dots, no black dots. Black, red, I mean... Red, oh god. Okay, I feel like I've been here... Like an entire recording just on stamping these pigs alone. I think it's because they're going so fast, and the time seems to be moving extra slower than usual, but I think we got everything right. Yeah, for some reason I thought I almost stinged right now. Like, well, what did I do wrong this time, huh? It's one of those things where you think you did fine, and suddenly like the last one's like, oh, you messed up over here. We got some good money, though, so that's good because we just spent a lot for the call girls, so. Yeah, look at that, we're almost up to a thousand again, so that's, that's good. Doorbell. All right, let's see if um, our girl found out about weight. Look what a fast food. Uh, morning. Oh, dear horses, sir. I can see the question just from your face. Sorry, so did you ask? I did, actually. Shan shows the note in her hand. I probably know what you're up to. Don't ask me about Wei again. What's... Listen, I checked with some people that might know something about Wei. Turned out they don't know a dime. Sorry, but I'm sure you can find something else to kill time with. Like a book or whatever. Uh, yeah, of course. Don't worry about it. Okay then. Maybe you're not as a uh, not as a freak as I thought. I'm thoroughly confused about that. So she probably knows what I'm up to. I mean, I'm up to so many different things though. Which one in particular? That was weird. I got nothing to show you, I guess. So. Okay, take it. Thank you. Hmm. Wow. That was weird. That was really weird. A conversation with Chan is going towards an entirely unknown direction. What does she know exactly? But if I can get her to share more, it wouldn't be impossible to ask her about how to fly that spinner in the sky. Interesting. Because see, now we... We've talked about the spinner in particular with Elodie. And now we're kind of bringing it into the Chan thing too. Do you think I'm supposed to like use like one of these girls' spinners to get out of here or something? Either way, we're out of time. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick up for the next episode. I will catch you next time.